Welcome back to another video. I'm in the Parc du Marcantin, which is in the Baie de Somme in France, and it's a specific bird park. So today I'm going to do some bird photography. I've just walked around the first uh, lake area and um, there's a little bit of activity. There's um, some grading geese, quite a lot of them, but uh, composition wise, uh, pretty tricky. The observation points are good if you've got binoculars, but they're not, not particularly brilliant for photography. You're a bit too far away. Um, also seen a couple of cattle egrets, got a nice shot in flight. Um, there's some swans and some moorhens just behind the reeds, which are over here, I'm trying to get closer to the moorhens now. Um, looks as if there's a little bit of territorial activity going on. Um, but it's a big park and I think I'm going to spend the majority of the day here and I'm hoping that I'll get closer to the action so I can get some good shots. So this is the second bird park that I've been to in France and the principle is pretty much the same. There's a basically a route that you take, you get given a guide at the entrance, you pay your fee, you start walking around the route and you go to the observation decks and that's where you start to look out for the birds. I'm not in the migration season so I think the diversity is going to be quite limited but it's good to be out with the camera. So I spent some time in that observation cabin behind me and um, yeah, it was interesting. There were a couple of uh, little egrets and red shanks feeding, um, but the sun was right in front of me. So I actually changed to black and white in camera and uh, overexposed to try and get some really nice um, I'd say portraits, animal in the environment, smooth out the background, smooth out the water. By overexposing, you kind of play on the highlights and the tonality in the image. So uh, yeah, I'll pop the images in now and you'll see them. Um, I'm very happy with them. I spent quite some time in Hut 6, but I didn't actually do any filming when I was in there because there were some other bird watchers and photographers, but it was pretty productive. There were a couple of snipes that were just in front and I took both a combination of colour images and some high key black and white, which turned out very well. just left hut six and it's probably the most productive the last couple were quite far away from the birds so it's very difficult to get shots but there you're a bit closer and um, there's a lot of diversity there even got some birds in flight which was pretty cool so yeah stayed uh, a little bit longer than the other cabins now heading back onto the route and see what else we can find It's gotten really windy and this is actually uh, not a cabin but it's uh, an area we can look through. And there's a couple of egrets and what I've actually done here is underexpose 
Um, the light's pretty overcast. Um, so by underexposing, I'm getting the contrast between the egret being white and the water being relatively dark, so it's giving really good contrast. So this part of the video I'm signing off, unfortunately I've been super lazy and I haven't brought my lapel microphone, there's so much wind you can't hear me. But basically what I'm saying is I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, give a comment and a like. Thanks for watching.